Eric Hyden. The 24-year-old was an unassuming young man from Madison, Wisconsin. But when he slipped into his skin of gold, he took on the air of Zeus, the supreme god of ancient Olympia. His assault on the record book began in this, the 500 meters. But Haydn's objective was not to win one, but all five of the men's speed skating events. No one had ever won five individual goals in a single Olympiad. After winning the gold in the 500 meters, others followed in the 5,000, 1,000, and 1,500 meters. In his first four events, he broke four Olympic records. Haydn had trained devotedly for his one chance at Olympic immortality. This would not be a story written over years, but rather a single week, and he wanted to be certain he had given it his all. He doesn't appear to be that aggressive, but once that gun goes off, you can really see the aggressiveness in him, and he fights right till the end, and that's what's made him what he is. When he was younger, I remember the first time he won the world, it was all up to the 10,000, and no one expected him to do what he did, and it was all the fight inside of him that put him where he was. And on the first gun, we have a good start, with Eric Hyden starting on the inner lane and the Oskin starting outside. Eric Hyden, gold medal, 500 meters, 38.03, new Olympic record. Gold medal, 5,000 meters, new Olympic record, 7.02.29. Gold medal, 1,000 meters, 115.18. Gold medal, 1,500 meters, 155.44, despite almost falling. No one. No one, winter or summer, has ever won five individual gold medals in Olympic competition. Mark Spitz, who came away from the Munich Games in 1972 with seven gold medals, won four individuals, and three came from team relays. The 10,000 meters is 14 minutes of agonizing pain. But to win a fifth gold medal, Haydn would have to endure the pain, ignore the distractions, and focus on every element of the race. Your coaches are telling you what time you have to skate. You're thinking about each stroke that you're uh, taking. You're thinking about setting up turns and crossing over, and you're thinking about what your pair is doing. So there's a lot of things that you're worrying about. It's not only uh, you know just skate 100 meters and then turn left. There's a lot of other stuff that's involved. The world record is in jeopardy as Haydn turns down off the last turn. The world record, 14-34-3-3. Haydn moving powerfully for the finish line, and he snaps the time beam at 14-28-13. A new world and Olympic record for Eric Haydn. Ladies and gentlemen, all I can say as you listen to the crowd roar and look at this young man, he is one of the most remarkable athletes I've ever seen in more than a quarter century running around the world looking at so many great ones perform. This one is truly one of a kind. It had been the most extraordinary nine days in speed skating history. Haydn reigned supreme. Few could imagine another athlete ever winning gold medals in every one of the five events. Most records fall through the passage of time and to better times. But this record might prove eternal.